Welcome to question 6 of the 2017 Mathematical Methods Exam 1 for the Northern Hemisphere. In this video we will be looking at the solution for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. So for question 6 we have at a large sporting arena there are a number of food outlets including a cafe. For part A we are told that the cafe employs 5 men and 4 women. Four of these people are rostered on at random to work each day. And we're going to let capital P hat represent the sample proportion of men rostered to work on on a particular day. So for part one, we want to list the possible values P hat can take. So because there's four people working on at any given time, out of those four people, we could have zero men there because there's four women that would then be working. So the proportion could be zero. We could have one of the four people working is a man. We could have two out of four, which is a half. We could have three out of four that are working being men, or we could have four out of four working uh, men, which would be a proportion of one. So they are the possible values that P hat can take. For part two, we're asked to find the probability that P hat is equal to zero. So the proportion of men working out of four is zero, which means all four are women that are working at that cafe at that time. So to answer this question, we could look at a particular set of branches of a tree diagram where we have a woman is working, a second woman is working on that shift, a third woman and a fourth woman are all working on that shift. The probabilities would then be there's four out of nine for the first position, three out of eight, two out of seven and one out of six to select four women to all work at the same time. So therefore, the probability that capital P hat is equal to zero is equal to four on nine times three on eight times two on seven times one on six. And that's because we just multiply branches along a tree diagram. And then we can cancel this four with part of the eight, leaving behind a two there. And we can cancel this three times two, which is six, with that factor of six in the denominators. And now multiplying out the top line, we've just got one times one times one times one is one. And then we have nine times two times seven, which is nine times 14. And I'll just do that in a second line. So that's gonna be one over. And nine times 14 is very close to 10 times 14 is 140. Subtract one lot of 14 is 126. So that is the answer to part two of part A of this question. For part B, it says that there are over 80,000 spectators at a sporting match at the arena. And we are told that five in nine of these spectators support the Goanna's team. So that means the p-value for the proportion of supporters of the Goanna's team at the event is equal to five in nine. A simple random sample of 2,000 spectators is selected. And we are asked, what is the standard deviation of the distribution of P hat, the sample proportion of spectators who support the Goanna's team? So first of all, from our formula sheets, we can see there's a formula for the standard deviation of P hat, which is equal to the square root of P times one minus P over N. So therefore, the standard deviation of P hat that we are asked to calculate would be equal to the square root of and the p-value is 5 on 9, so we'd have 5 on 9 times, and 1 minus 5 on 9 is 4 on 9, divided by n, where n for the sample is 2,000. So therefore, the standard deviation of p-hat is going to equal the square root of, and 5 on 9 times 4 on 9 is now 20 on 81, and now instead of dividing by 2000, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is one over 2000. And that is going to equal, and we can cancel 20 here with 20 in the denominator here, which we'll just leave behind 100. So we will get the square root of one over, and this is gonna be 81 times 100 on the bottom line. And I've left these two numbers as square numbers intentionally, because to find the square root of all of this now, we just have the square root of one is one, and the square root of 81 is 9 times the square root of 100 is 10, which gives 1 over 90. So that is the answer to part B of this question.